Thank you so much for joining me today on Senior Fitness with Meredith. So today's workout is an all seated lower body resistance band workout. So we'll do two rounds of lower body. We'll work on core as well. So what you will need is your nice sturdy chair, your water, and then whatever type of band that you have. So I always talk about the fixed circle bands. This is a perfect workout to use it because we're going to do entire lower body. We're not going back and forth between upper and lower. So you can always use that circle, I mean the long band, excuse me, place it onto your lap, bring the ends around, essentially like you're tying your legs up, they come up to the top. And then you'll hold on to that band for movements. Now we will be doing some movements today since it's all lower body where you will put the band around your ankles. If you have the long flat band and of course you don't want to put a knot in it because you may never get it out again, just do range of motion along with me and then do the other things with the band. So we've got that. Remember you have a fixed circle band. These come in different widths, different um, resistance sizes. This is, I think, a medium from the company I got it from. They're all different colors, all different sizes. So you can use that. Or if you have that extra flat band laying around and you want to commit to putting a knot in it that most likely is going to stay there, then go ahead and do that. I am going to use my makeshift, the one that I made, circle band for the workout today. So remember, use whatever you have. So make sure you have that band, your sturdy, comfortable chair, your water, and I'll meet you back here for our lower body resistance band workout. Welcome back. We are ready to get started. So before we start our workout for lower body, let's just do a couple of things. Range of motion, get the body warmed up because like I always say, this might be the first thing we're doing for the day. Tall in our chair, tight core, strong straight spine, always relax the shoulders down. Even though, yes, we're focusing on lower body, this does have a tendency to happen. <sighs> Release them down. Let's just start with some marches. So march those legs. Just warm up the lower body muscle groups, the core muscles. Get those arms engaged too, because that is gonna bring the core temperature up higher, faster. We're gonna alternate opening to our sides now. So we're just gonna open right, open left, open right, open left. So those hips, those outer thighs, those gluteals, inner thigh, groin, all of that's working as well. We're warming that up. Just a couple more each side. One more, now alternate extending. Extend, extend. So we're getting that length in those quadricep muscles. We're getting that movement and range of motion in our knee joints. Three more, let's do two more. One more. Now this one might feel weird depending on the type of chair that you're in. Try and bend that foot behind you. Curl it back. Curl back. Flex your foot. Press from your heel. If you're on a couch or a type of chair where you don't have this, go as far as you can. You're sitting close to the edge of the seat. Let's just do two more. Two. One more. Let's just do one more set of our marches. Just bring those knees up. One more deep inhale, exhale. And release. So now we'll grab the band, whichever you are choosing to use, the flat band. Go ahead and wrap those legs. The fixed one, like I said, I'm using the one that I put the knot in. I'm gonna bring it up and over the knees now. So whichever, it's all working the same muscles. Now, I will say, if you make a band, uh, circle band on your own. Sometimes you might tie it and it doesn't have enough resistance. You can still add resistance by holding on to it. Same thing. So I'll do that just to show you. Nice and tall, tight core, strong straight spine. We're going to start with our marches. Really leading from those quadriceps. We bring that foot up, 
release, foot up, release. Exhale, inhale. Again, that focus, big leg muscle, those thighs, those quadriceps engage to pull up. Don't put it all into the tiny hip flexors. Those have a tendency to want to take the brunt of the work, as small as they are. They are a secondary, as well as our lower abdominals, but big leg muscle, make it do the work. Breathe into it. We'll do three more. Three. Three. Two more. One more each side. We're going to stay with our alternating movement and open to the side, slow and controlled. So pressing from that outer thigh, that right foot opens out, gently bring it back center. Same thing left, that outer thigh leads the way, come back center. Exhale, inhale. So you're not leading from the outside of the knee joint, definitely not leading from the foot, because that's going to put the pressure on our knee joint. Hip, outer thigh gluteals are doing the work as we go out to the side. Inner thigh groin are allowing that foot slowly to come back center. Band not controlling our movement. Two more each side. One more each side, right and left. We come back to center, those feet about shoulder distance apart. Keep resistance on that band. I want you to feel your outer thighs, your hips, and your gluteals staying engaged the entire time. They're working just by keeping that band in place. Go on to the balls of your feet, release. Heels up, release. Heels up, release. Get flexion of your foot in your shoe and feel your calf muscle contract, release. Gaining strength in lower body, in our calves, in our ankles, in our feet. Three more. Two. Last one. Keeping resistance on that band. Keep those feet shoulder distance apart. Two movements, but working on just the right side. Nice and tall, core is tight. Lift that right foot up as high as it can go. Release and try and hover it. Exhale, inhale. Keep the core tight, a lot of lower abdominal work here. Three more, two, last one, release it down. But now we're gonna bring that right foot out to the side, slow and controlled. Press it out, gently in, press it out, gently in. Lead from that outer thigh as it opens to the side. Really feel outer thigh, hip, gluteal. Three more on this side. Two. Last one. Feet go back to shoulder distance apart. Make sure we have our good posture form. Left side, our two movements. That quadricep, that string pulls that foot up high. Release and hover if you can. Exhale, inhale. <sighs> Breathe nice and lifted. Exhale, inhale. <sighs> Three more. Three, two, last one. Release it down. Now that left foot opens to the side, slow and controlled. Press it out, gently in. Press it out, gently in. Range of motion different for everyone and definitely dependent on the band strength that you have and the size that you are dealing with. So don't think my foot isn't going out as far as hers. Doesn't matter, little movement works. Just two more, two. Last one, we come back to center feet or shoulder distance apart. Walk them slightly out in front of you. All I want you to do is pull those toes up. Body stays nice and tall. We're not leaning back as those toes come up. We're strengthening our shins, the front of our legs. We're strengthening our ankles and again those feet. So good for our balance, for our gait, for our walking. Three more times. Three, two, 
Last one, feet come closer together. This is where I'm going to say if you have the circle band, it goes down to your ankles. If you have a long band, you're doing range of motion. So band goes down to the ankles. Then we open the feet just enough so it stays nice and taut. We just don't want any slack in it. So opening those feet, we're focusing just on our right side for two movements. Then we'll go to left. Nice and lifted, slow and controlled. We really want to focus on our quadricep here. Do not put it all into the knee joint. We're lengthening out through that leg, through the quadricep, building that strength up to protect our knee joint. So if you feel only pain and pressure in your knee, resistance needs to go away. This is a great one to do though, prior to knee replacements, if you know one is coming up, and then after. It's gonna help with that knee area. It, you'll be doing it in physical therapy most likely anyway. So nice and tall, nice tight core, lengthen out through that right leg, slow controlled, gently bend and release. Focus, focus, focus. It's easy, easy to just swing that leg out and not think about what we're working. We wanna build that leg muscle, lengthen, release. Bring that resistance up through the quadricep, release it gently. Three more, three, two, last one, nice and lifted. Like I said, two things on our right side. Now that press out to the side. The band on the ankles, or if you don't have a band, you will see that you have bigger range of motion than when it's up and around above the knee area. So now really press and focus. Press it out nice and far. Gently come back in. When we have that bigger range of motion, you'll feel deeper in your gluteals and your hip. That's a good thing. Build that strength there, get that range of motion. Again, hip replacements, perfect exercise to do prior to if you know it's coming up, after during your rehab. Three more, three, slow controlled, two, Last one, back to center, find our good posture and form. We have those two to do on left. We start to get fatigued. We wanna get through our workout. Really, really focus. Again, especially with that band around the ankles. We do not need to tweak anything. Focus on the muscle we're working. That quadricep, thigh muscle, nice and tall. Extend leg long, gently release. Exhale, inhale. I always tell people, put your hand on different muscle groups that you're working sometime. Feel that muscle engage. It's a good thing. You say, I am working it. Even if I have you doing two sides at once sometimes when we're doing certain things, put one side down for a second and feel that muscle that you're working. Three more. Three. Two. Last one, now that left side out to the side as far as you can extend it, keeping it in control. Press it out, exhale, gently come back in. That gluteal and hip really working. <sighs> exhale, inhale, slow control both directions. When that foot comes back to center, you're really working on that inner thigh groin to engage to keep that foot from just coming back to center fast. <sighs> Two more. Two. Last one, and release. Feet come close together. That band, if we're using it, comes off of the ankles, and we're gonna take it under just the arch of our right foot. So once it's there, I want you to lean back in your chair. If you have the flat band, you can do this exercise with the flat band. Bring it under the arch of the foot, hold on to it. Just put lots of resistance because we want lower body to do the work. So we're leaning back, even though we're back in our chair, remember, don't lose our posture. Nice and proud, core tight. Holding those arms in place. They're not moving because our lower body's doing all the work in this workout. We're flexing our foot. We exhale as we lengthen and press that resistance out. Bend and release. <sighs> Your foot may not be able to get this high. Like I say, perfectly fine. It can be right above the ground. 
but you are getting that movement through your gluteals and hip. You are pressing from your quadricep, your hamstring. You're working. We're doing three more like this. Three, two more leg extensions. Two, let's hold that last one out nice and long. Always slight bend in the knee joint. Toes go up to the sky. Exhale as you press that heel down towards the floor. Focus on back of your leg. Inhale. Exhale. Slow and controlled. Three more. Two more. Last one, gently release the foot down. Sit nice and tall, keep the band where it is. We're nice and lifted. We have that band under our foot. Toes are up, press that resistance down. Really work on strengthening that ankle. Press the toes down. Let's do two more, and then we're gonna pick up our pace. We're nice and impatient. Let's get through this workout. Tap, tap, tap. Keep your good form though. Four, three, two. Now in and out, like a windshield wiper, in and out. Slow to start. That heel is glued to the floor. It's not coming up. The toes are coming up and moving side to side. As long as you can keep your form with that heel glued down, pick up your pace. If that heel's coming up, then go nice and slow. Four, three, two, and release. Band comes off right side. Yes, we go over to our left side. Underneath the arch of that foot, whether it's the circle band or your long band, we lean back in our chair. We're nice and proud through the body. Glue those arms in place. They're not moving. Make the lower body do all the work. Exhale, leg extension. Gently release. Flexing that foot, press it out. <sighs> Working entire lower body with this movement. Our quadricep, our hamstring, our hips and gluteals. <sighs> Inner thigh and groin. <sighs> Two more. <sighs> Hold that last one out nice and long. The toes go up towards the sky, depending on your range of motion. Bring them up, exhale, press down through your heel. Doesn't have to be a big movement. It can come up and press down. That's perfect. Inhale, exhale. Three more now. Inhale, exhale, two more. Last one, gently release that foot all the way down, nice and tall, that heel glues to the floor. We sit up nice and tall. Those slow toe taps to start. Work on your range of motion. Pull those toes up towards the sky as much as you can. Feel that stretch and pull, then press down. Gain strength as you press that resistance down in that ankle. Let's do three, two. We'll pick up our pace now, nice and impatient. <sighs> tap, tap, tap. Inhale, exhale. Four, three, two. Our in and outs next, slow and controlled. Again, that heel needs to stay glued down to the ground. If you have any pain or discomfort in that knee joint, make your range of motion smaller, not so deep in and out, especially on the in. It's easy to tweak that knee joint. Let's do three, two. Only if you can keep your form and that heel stays glued down, pick that pace up. Inhaling and exhaling for four, three, two, and Release, release that band. We're still gonna hold on to it. Lower body's done round one. Let's do a couple of movements for core. So holding on to your band, whether you have your long band or your circle band, I always like to put my band in half if it's the long one because it just is long, it's hanging around everywhere. So we're holding on to it. We're gonna lean back in our chair, our normal with those feet walked out Sit nice and tall, sit back in our chair. All right, keep that band nice and taut. Exhale, <sighs> sit tall, gently release back. If these become super, super easy for you, you say, eh, I used to be hard getting up nice and tall. Now these are getting easier. When you lean back in your chair, kind of hover over the back of your seat. Don't even allow your back to tap it. 
or if when you usually do them you really sit all the way back and then have to kind of bounce back up release back barely tap the back onto your surface and sit back up nice and tall right in the center of the belly that's what's leading you up that imaginary string pulling you up three more times relax those shoulders two more last one nice and tall relax those shoulders bring the feet a little bit closer in we're going to twist side to side doing alternating knee raises so that band's in front of us our gaze is going to stay in the center of it as we twist to the side we twist to our right our right knee comes straight up it doesn't open to the side just like our marches straight up in front of you as the body twists and then to the left all right relax the shoulders gaze right in the center of it right knee up twist right come center left knee up twist left come center so doing this movement we're engaging our lower body now those hip flexors those quadriceps but those lower abdominals as well are engaging with that movement of picking the foot up off the ground our obliques with our twisting movement our spine getting that range of motion and our lower back two more one more each side right center left we come back center feet are down band just stays close to the body keep the length in your spine focus on your lower back really pull into the core the more you pull into those abdominals and keep them tight you will feel your lower back engage to lift you up so inhale chest forward exhale that string pulls you up from your lower back slow and controlled inhale exhale inhale exhale let's do three more two more last one inhale chest forward exhale nice and tall release the band that you're holding wiggle your fingers and body a little bit perfect time to grab some water because yes we're going to go into round two next so grab some water and i'll meet you right back here welcome back we are ready for round two of our all lower body resistance band workout so if you have the fixed one let's go ahead and put it in place the long one go ahead and wrap those legs up get everything in place nice and tall again as we get fatigued we lose that form really keep saying to yourself nice and tall tight core strong straight spine shoulders relaxed so that band's in place we're going to lead with our left side with all of our movements again good for the body good for the brain nice and tall left foot starts with our march so left right slow controlled what are we working what do we want to focus on focus on quadricep big leg muscle lifting that foot off the ground going to your range of motion yes that band is in place it's going to keep those muscles working in our hips in our gluteals in sides of the legs inner thigh groin breathe three more two last one nice and lifted stay with alternating leading with our left out to the side left out bring it center right out come center again range of motion different for everyone depending on your band strength and how much it's tied if you have a fixed tied one core tight we'll do three more each side three two more two one more each side left and right back to center feet about shoulder distance apart where we can keep that band nice and taut pull those heels up release heels up release on to the balls of the feet i say that and i say it over and over again i know because on in some shoes 
it just allows you to go on your tippy toes. You can't get flexion of your foot. You really want to try, if you can, to get flexion of your foot in your shoe so you feel the calf muscles contract, release, contract, release. Three more, two, last one. Release those heels down. Two movements on that left side. The movements we just did, but we're really gonna fatigue that side out. So we'll start with just the knee raise. Keeping our good form, relaxing those shoulders. Quadricep is leading the way. Bring that foot nice and high. Release, try and hover. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. Big leg muscle, really focus on making it do the work. It starts to get tired. It puts it all into that tiny little hip flexor. No, no, no. Three more. Three, two. Last one, release it down. We stay on that left side to open out to the side. Big range of motion, press it out. Gently come in. That outer thigh, hip, gluteals, inner thigh, groin, center. Really focus. Three more. Three, two, last one. Find that good posture form again. Nice and tall, two movements, right side. Those knee raises to start your range of motion. Pull from that quadricep, release, try and hover it. If you can't keep it hovered, just barely tap those toes down. Don't let all that weight go back into that foot. We're keeping the engagement in that quadricep if we don't allow that foot to go down and release that. Three more. Three, two, last one. Staying on that right side for our second movement. Press it out to the side, exhale. Gently come back in. Press out, pull, resist in. Exhale, inhale. Three more times, that's all. Three, two, last one. Back to center, those feet shoulder distance apart. Keep that band nice and taut so we keep that pull on everything in our lower body and just pull those toes up. Again, no leaning back. This movement we wanna rock back and forth. No rocking, nice and tall. Work on that strengthening through your shins and your ankles and your feet. Pull those toes up. Stay nice and tall. Three, two, last one. Now those feet can come nice and close together. We take that resistance off the band so we can bring it down to the ankles. Again, you have the long band you're using. That goes to the side for a second. Do your range of motion. Two movements on our left side. Again, really focus. You do not want to swing that leg out too fast because you have that resistance at your ankle. As Soon as that lever gets longer, it's so easy to put it right into your knee joint. Really focus on what we're working. Always keeping ourselves safe and focusing on form before we add extra resistance or more repetitions to anything. So nice and tall, Left side, those two movements, start with our leg extension. Exhale, extend it, bend it. <sighs> Lengthen that quadricep, bring that resistance up. We build that big leg muscle, we protect that knee joint. <sighs> Three more, two, last one. Yes, we're staying on that left side, Big range of motion, really press it out. Gently come back in. Really deep into that hip and gluteal. Feel them working, feel them engage. Focus inner thigh and deep into that groin as we resist back to center. Three more. Three, two, Last one, nice and lifted. Yes, those two movements now on right side, slow and controlled. I stress it, yes, I know, but we don't want 
to tweak anything. So really focus, quadricep, big leg muscle, to bring that length and resistance out, release it. Lengthen out, release it. Exhale, inhale. Like I said, first round, put your hand on different body parts. Feel them engage as you work them. That really makes the brain go, oh, it's working. That's a good thing. Three more. Three, two, last one. Now that right side out to the side. Big range of motion, slow control. Press it out, gently in. Exhale, inhale. I'm really feeling it, round two. I hope you are too. That hip and gluteal, I feel them engage. They're staying engaged as I bring that foot center and don't let that engagement go. Three more, two, last one. Back to center, keep the band nice and taut. We're gonna do our heel toe raises. We didn't do this in our first round. I meant to do these. We're rocking, going front to back. So I want your heels up, your toes up, heels up, toes up. Again, the body stays tall. Heels up, toes up. Three more. Three, two, last one. Now feet nice and close together. Band goes off. If you have the long band, grab it again. Left side, under the arch of that foot. Circle or long. Once it's there, Lean back in the chair. We're nice and proud. Keep those shoulders relaxed. Lock those arms in place. Make the lower body work. Flex the foot, exhale, leg extension. Release it. Exhale, inhale. Three more. Two, this last one, we're gonna hold that leg nice and long, slight bend in the knee, toes go up to the sky, exhale as you really press down through that heel and back of your leg. Inhale, exhale, press down. Focusing, not only are we working hip, quadricep, gluteals, the back of the leg, that hamstring, I really want you to engage as you press down. Inhale, exhale, just two more. This last one foot goes all the way down. We sit tall and we glue that heel to the ground. Find our good posture, slow toe taps to start. Work on your range of motion. Bring that resistance down. Find your breath. Let's do four, three, two. Let's pick up our pace now. Keep our good form. Four, Three, two, our in and outs next slow to start, keeping that heel glued down to the ground. Again, if you're feeling any pain in that knee, shorten your range of motion. Doesn't have to be so big in and out. As long as you can keep your good form and that heel cemented to the ground, pick up that pace in and out, in and out and breathe for four, three, two, and release. Other side, onto the right side. Underneath the arch of that foot, lean back in the chair, lock those arms in place, stay nice and proud. Find your posture even though you're leaning back in your chair. Core is tight, lengthen your spine, arms are locked, leg extension, exhale, press out, gently release. Exhale, inhale. Three more now. Leg extension, three, two. This last one, we'll press it out, hold long, slight bend in the knee, toes go up, exhale, press down through the back of your leg. Inhale, exhale. Range of motion different for everyone. Go to your range of motion. Inhale, exhale, three more. Two more. Last one releases all the way down, nice and tall. Glue that heel, sit up nice and tall, toe taps. Slow to start, work on your range of motion. Really pull those toes up towards the sky, strengthen those ankles. Four, 
three, two, let's pick up our pace. Nice and impatient. We're almost to the end of this workout. Breathing, four, three, two, in and outs next. Slow to start, find your range of motion, what feels best for you. That heel is glued down to the ground, it's not lifting up. Now we'll pick that pace up, don't lose that form. In and out, in and out, that heel cemented down for four, three, two, and release. Releasing that band, let's focus on core. Holding on to it, if you choose, you don't have to hold on to the band. The arms can be crossed in front of you, they can be on your lap. If arms are getting fatigued or fingers are hurting from holding, then just release the band for now. We're just holding it, keeping muscle engagement and keeping our posture for upper body. That's what this is primarily doing. So we hold it in front of us, we keep it taut, we relax those shoulders. Sitting back, up nice and tall. Center of the belly, we release back in the chair, length stays in your spine, that imaginary string leads you back up. Inhale, exhale. Again, these are getting super easy, barely tap it, pull yourself back up. But we're not pulling up with mo momentum or our lower body. Our abdominals are doing it, or hover over the back of your seat. Three more. Two more. Last one. Stay up nice and tall. Relax those shoulders down. Feet come a little closer in. Our knee raise, so a march with a twist to the side. Yes, starting to our left. Gaze is right in the center of that band. Left knee coming straight up, not out to the side. Straight up as we twist over to our left, back to center. Knee comes straight up, we twist right, come back center. Exhale, inhale. Slow, controlled, focus on the sides of your waist, your obliques. Work on your range of motion in your spine. Keep the core tight. Lower back is gaining strength as well. Three more. Two more. One more each side. Exhale left, center, right. We come back center, band comes close to the body if we're still holding it. Relax those shoulders, length stays in the spine. Focus on your lower back, that's where the string is pulling from now. So chest goes forward, inhale. Exhale, lower back leads you up nice and tall. No momentum, don't press from your upper back. Inhale, chest forward. Exhale, lower back lifts you up. Inhale. Exhale. Three more. Two more. Last one. Inhale, chest forward. Exhale, nice and tall. Release that band down. Little shake out of everything. Let's do some stretches now for that lower body. Stretch it out. So we'll start with our right side. Go back to leading with our right. We'll lengthen out through the leg. Slight bend in that knee joint. Staying nice and lifted. Let the chest go slightly forward. Feel that nice stretch. Then you can kind of walk your hands down towards your foot and release into it. So I want you to bring that length out first, essentially, and then let yourself release into it. We want to just get deep in stretches, but we don't do them correctly, so we're really not stretching the right parts. With this, from the back of your leg, your calf muscle, back of your knee joint, hamstring gluteals into your lower back are all releasing with this nice hamstring stretch. roll up nice and slow. Once you're sitting tall, that right foot comes up. We circle from the ankle joint around. That knee's not moving. Open those toes even. Reverse it other way. If it is available to you, taking that right ankle up and over that left quadricep. There, chest will go forward. If this movement is not available for tightness, for pain, pressure, cross at your ankles, let your chest go forward. You're still going to get a stretch in the hip and gluteal on that right side. That's what we're targeting right now. 
Don't press on that knee. Let that elbow put pressure to open up. With that band around the not only the ankles but above the knees, we do a lot for those hips and gluteals. This is a nice stretch to release that back out. Up nice and tall, bringing that right foot down to the ground, lengthen out through the left, slight bend in the knee. Remember, length stays in the spine to start as we allow the chest to bring length out. And then release it down and breathe into it. Back of the leg, all releasing into the gluteals and lower back. If you're releasing forward, hands can be either on the thigh, if they can go below the knee, then onto the shin or reaching towards the toes. Never place them onto that joint though, because then we'll just add pressure. So don't put them there. Above is better than anything. And roll up nice and slow, sitting tall. We'll bring that left foot up, circle from the ankle joint around. So we're loosening up the ankle joint. We're working on that mobility. And reverse it. Open those toes too. Let them stretch out. And then if it's available to you, that left ankle comes over the right quadricep. We release our chest forward. Again, not pressing on the knee joint. Let that elbow press down. Or crossing at the ankles, keeping length in the spine, flat back, chest goes forward. Go to what's available. Breathe into it. And we'll sit up nice and tall, bringing that left foot down. We open those feet a little more than shoulder distance apart, hands down towards the floor, center of those feet. Release into this nice, deep stretch. Entire lower body is releasing into that back. Roll up nice and slow. Once you're sitting tall, heel toe those feet back to center. Arms are by our side. Three deep inhales, exhales. Inhale, length goes overhead. Exhale, release it out. Two more times, big deep inhale, length up. Exhale, one more, big deep inhale, length up overhead. Exhale, release it all out because you are all done with your all lower body resistance band workout. Great job. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Good, good job. I look forward to seeing you here next time.